Hey, God bless you all. Thank you for watching today's video. Our subject for today is, is Jesus God? I posted this question in our community page. I announced that we're going to be doing a Q&A session, hopefully every week. That's the goal here, uh, along with getting people to hear the word of God and reading the word of God and understanding the word of God, which is just as important. But again, today's topic is, is Jesus God? So we're going to go ahead and look at a couple of verses to see what the Bible says is Jesus God. And the first one we're going to go to is John chapter 8, verse 58, which reads, Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. You see here the key term that Jesus used is the term I am, which is the term for Yahweh or God. In the Old Testament, when God identified himself as I am, we see that in Exodus 3.14 and Isaiah 43.13, which is the two scriptures that Jesus was quoting. Let's go ahead and check it out. And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at Isaiah chapter 43, verse 13. And it says, indeed, before the day was, I am he. And there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I work and who will reverse it. So as we see in John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus was quoting and referencing to himself both of these passages. Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at Jesus has the attributes of God. Just taking a quick look at my notes here, I have written down in the book of Hebrews, the author connects the description of Yahweh in Psalms chapter 102, verses 25 through 27 to Jesus in Hebrews chapter 1, verses 8 through 12. So let's go ahead and take a look at Psalm chapter 102. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Hebrews chapter 1 verses 8 through 12. But to the Son he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain, and they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak you will fold them up, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. Amen. We also see in the Old Testament that Jesus is giving the title of Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And we see this in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 15, Revelation chapter 17, verse 14, chapter 19, verse 16, and in chapter 1, verse 8. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So here we are in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 15. We're actually going to start at verse 13, and it says, I urge you in the sight of God who gives life to all things, and before Christ Jesus, who witnessed a good confession before Pontius Pilate, that you keep this commandment without spot, blameless unto our Lord Jesus Christ appearing, which he will manifest in his own time, he who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality, dwelling in unapproachable light, whom no man has seen or can see, to whom be honor and everlasting power. Amen. Next, let's go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. And Jesus is saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Next, we're going to go to Revelation chapter 17, verse 14. These will make war with the Lamb, meaning Jesus, and the Lamb will overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and those who are with him are called chosen and faithful. The next scripture we're going to look at is Revelation chapter 19, verse 16. And it says, speaking about Jesus here, and he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. So we've covered so far that Jesus claims to be God, he has the attributes of God, and he also has the titles 
of God. Next, we're going to go to where Thomas calls him God. So here we are in John chapter 20, verse 28, and Thomas is speaking to Jesus, and he says, And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. So as we read the Bible and the scriptures, we see that Jesus did seven signs or miracles that only God can do. And he made seven specific I am statements, which refer him to the God of the Old Testament. And we're going to review that right now. And just to add that Jesus, by doing his seven signs, it proves that he is God by his works. And his seven I am statements proves that he is God by his words. So the seven I am statements and the seven miracles are going to appear on your screen right now. Seven signs are water into wine. Jesus healed a man's son just by speaking. Jesus healed a lame man. Jesus fed 5,000 men and women and children with two fish and five loaves of bread. Jesus walked on water. Jesus heals a blind man. And Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. The seven I am statements are, I am the bread of life in John 6.35. I am the light of the world in John 8.12. I am the door in John 10.7. I am the good shepherd in John 10, 11, and 14. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life in John eleven twenty five. 25. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life in John 14, 6. And in John 51, he said, I am the true vine. So to answer today's Q&A question, is Jesus God? We see in the Bible that he clearly is. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching the video. I ask that you subscribe or follow the channel, um, like the video, share it with your friends and family. Until the next one, God bless you.